What's up everybody? My name is Vincent. Welcome to Cryptolution where we talk about everything under the moon. Crypto Universe. Today is Thursday, May 9th. We're doing another update regarding the dog go to the moon token. As you can tell on our channel, we are very bullish around this token, and there are many reasons for that. Now, in this video, I want to share with you how much trading volume dog go to the moon token is performing against every other rune coin that's out there you would be surprised the numbers that we're going to reveal today and also what we do on this channel we always cover the charting and analysis to kind of see where the rune token for dog out of the moon is at what we could expect for its support its resistance levels and also and possibly price predictions so when you watch this video please enjoy watch it to the very end to hear my conclusion and statement so by supporting this channel if you want to get alerted regarding the dog out of the moon token you need to smash that like button subscribe to the channel don't forget to join our patreon page and most importantly please be careful with any of the scammers down in the comments below i will never reach out via whatsapp telegram direct messenger or email so please be careful and invest safely so guys and girls let's get right into it so as you can see the dog out of the moon token tokens market cap roughly ranges between 279 even as up to as high as 305 million it just fluctuates back and forth because there are people that are doing some trading in and out and that's just to be expected so when you're looking at some of the prices right now you get 889,000 tokens for roughly 2,400 but let's go ahead and move on because that's not the point of the video we gotta look at the trading volume because over the past seven days dog go to the moon token is ranked number one in the most traded rune token in the ecosystem. And this is coming from Magic Eden on Bitcoin. Now Magic Eden is the number one marketplace to be trading runes as we speak. So let's talk specifically how much of Dog Go to the Moon or the Dog token has done in trading revenue compared to its other predecessors and its other rune sisters. Now looking here, we can see that right here in this really bright blue, the 27,000, that's dog out of the moon. So 63% of the total trading volume on Magic Eden, you can see that dog out of the moon is absolutely dominating. The reason you need to freeze frame on this specific chart is because you need to understand why dog out of the moon token is better than most of these other rune coins. Remember, runes are meme coins of Bitcoin. They're built on a layer two. So that's why you need to see this specifically because you need to know where money is actually flowing in. Where is the most tr transactions? Where is the most following? Where is the most interest? It's in dog go to the moon. This is why this chart is very important. And remember, this dog token is the first rune meme coin to reach in the top 200 in regards to coin market cap, which lists all the top cryptocurrencies in the world. And right now, amongst these other dog meme coins between Dogecoin, Shiba Inu, Dog Whip Hat, Floki, Bong, Dog is number six. I definitely think because this is the top meme coin on a rune ecosystem, aka on Bitcoin, this deserves to be right here in number three. Cause Dog with Hat and Bonk and Floki are on Solana. So it only makes sense for Dog to at least be here in third place. But in my point of opinion, I think it should actually flip Dogecoin. That's a long way to go, but maybe I'm wrong, but that's just something to share with you. And if you look on the overall coin market cap meme coin charts, you see that right now we have to flip all of these other meme coins on Ethereum, on Binance Smart Chain. And so really you just have to beat all these different people to see us reach in the top five. Now let's go into other news, which is the ratios. Why are we talking about ratios? If you can see here on Ethereum, if you compare Shiba Inu, which is built on Ethereum, Right now, 13 billion of Shiba Inu makes up for 359 billion of ETH market cap. Remember, Bitcoin's market cap is way higher, 1.2 trillion at the time of this recording. So equivalent in ratios, the way that Shiba Inu's valued compared to the market cap of Ethereum, that would put dogs their market cap at a 44 billion exposure to 1.2 trillion of Bitcoin's market cap. So that's the equivalent ratio right there is that if we were to read the same ratio as Shiba Inu, that would put dog at 44 billion. Just to give you some insight why this potentially could do really well. Remember, we're right now at around a 270 million market cap. So that's what we're seeing right now. And also, let's take away from a Binance report because we're very early. 
1% would be a 13x from here, which would round be 10% 130x. So, but what people don't realize is that there'll be one big winner taking a large portion of that liquidity. DOG already makes up 60% of the volume and that's only getting bigger. And that's because runes right now in the pink remain as one of the dominant transactions in trading volume amongst Bitcoin, amongst BRC20 tokens, amongst ordinals. Now let's look at the charting and analysis. Now this is on the hourly time frame. As you can see here, if we go ahead and zoom out a little bit, we broke out of this downtrend right around here. We were in a bearish sentiment, but recently something has enveloped. As you can see, we're starting a new trend. Now, ever since we reached a really recent high, we've taken a breather back down, but notice this, it bounced off of this blue line support level right around here because we're starting a new uptrend. Now, keep in mind, we always wanna be realistic here. If it breaks below this trend line, we could actually experience either consolidation or we could see a dip back down at a support level right around here, around 0.002. That's the nearest all-time low, but also the nearest support level. I don't know if we're gonna actually see that price point ever since then. And then we also see that we could actually meet a new resistance level right around here, around 0.0030. And then we have to fight the next one at around 0.0035. This is all very important because we wanna reach our new all-time highs, which we talked about in our video yesterday, which I'll put a link on the upper right hand side. But that's to go to show you that right now we are experiencing consolidation and ever since that high point that we experienced recently right here of that recent pump because of the Binance news and also that the coin had been listed correctly on coin market cap we saw that the RSI or the relative strength index has taken a breather that's actually really good we want to actually see ourselves going back down because that allows us to see another leg up there's there's these cycles where things go up things have to go down right after and when things go down things have to go right up after that's how cycles work so with the RSI taking a breather, we may be experiencing right now either some consolidation or another pump to the upside that was sent to skyrocketing. But this could be based on a lot of different things, a lot of different events that we just don't see as of right now. If you haven't already, you should check out this one website. It's called doggotothemoon.io. This website is an amazing website that was created by the community that shares with you how to buy the dog token, where it was born from, meaning how these runestone ordinal holders receive these free airdrops and also got the free airdrop of the dog token. But also what's really great is that it tells you that this is a free and fair culture, is basically rug proof because of all these different things that it hits. No pre-sales, no team allocations, no insiders, no paid KOLs, did not do paid promos. Most importantly, they're not paying centralized exchanges to list their token. And also they will not pay market makers. So there's pretty much zero manipulation based on what they're saying with this token. But this has the tokenomics, it has everything that you need and also articles with breaking regarding the dog out of the moon news insight. So as you've seen, we've just covered basically some recent news and also showing you ahead of time before the public why dog go to the moon token can skyrocket. The most important thing is that right now, people don't really know how to buy these rune tokens because there's such a learning curve. The reason these haven't been listed on centralized exchanges is because centralized exchanges are trying to figure out why people are interested, but also trying to integrate runes into their exchange so that people can buy them instead of bulk, maybe like micro, like $5, $2, $10, $100. And right now, if you're buying these runes, especially Doggo to the Moon on Magic Eden, and you're learning how to buy these in bulk, again, I'll put a link on the upper right hand side if you haven't seen that video on how to buy these actual meme coins or rune tokens, you are are basically ahead of the game before anybody else. So right now, when you're seeing a market cap at around 283, see how much that fluctuates? We just spoke about this at 279. It just goes to show that you have the advantage. You have the expertise. You have the experience of buying these things. So this is just my opinion. Please do your own due diligence before buying into these tokens. So let me know your thoughts down below regarding Dog of the Moon token. As you can tell, we cover this almost daily on our channel. We'll see how it goes in the next week or month, especially if the Bitcoin rally does happen. I wanna hear your comments down below because it's gonna help everybody understand their positions regarding if they're going to be buying this specific rune coin. So as always, by supporting the channel, please smash up that like button, subscribe to the channel. Don't forget to join our Patreon page to receive all of our alpha calls and trades regarding the rune token called Dog or Dog Go to the Moon. Until then, see you guys girls next time.